I have things and stuff. Things of great interest. We could have a look through a few of them. Uh, this is only like a small bit of it, by the way. Uh, actually, what happened is my friend Electronscape knew somebody. It's like, I think his sister's friend's friend or something like this. I have no idea. Well, what's wrong with you now? Come on, say hi now. Now that you've made your entrance. <laughs> anyway, aside from Neelix, his friend of friend or something like this, had a lot of Amiga stuff. Well, a lot of computer stuff, I should say. And, uh, you know, a lot of it was Amiga stuff <laughs> that he wanted to get rid of. Electronscape brought it all the way here. Do check out PCBWay. They do high quality custom PCBs, single and double sided, as well as both surface mounted and through hull assembly. I'm actually thinking about getting our Sidbox 5 assembled with them once we've finished our PCB design. They have a very fast delivery service, so you will get your PCB delivered to you in no time. I'm kind of like excited about it because I've never had a haul like this come my way before because I don't actually know that many retro people in person or more so they're not really that aware of me I guess <laughs> but uh, you know I'm starting to now and uh, yeah stuff like this starts happening <laughs> so you know I've always seen it happen to other people so it's really nice for a change to happen to me I took this footage when the day it arrived and I was just like okay you know when you have so much uh, then you see so much stuff and you're like, I don't know what to do with all this stuff, but it's absolutely awesome and amazing. <laughs> so, Wayne arrives one day surprising me with all this great exciting stuff. Instantly I see a game I've already got my eyes on. I wonder if you can tell which one. There's a whole cassette storage drawer full of Spectrum and C64 games. I think mostly Spectrum though, judging by the look of this haul. plenty of Amiga discs. I can't have too many Amiga discs, right? Well, maybe so. <laughs> you know, I don't have the space for them. Anyway, these discs are for Wayne, as I already have so many, though I may pinch a few cover discs here and there when he's not looking. <laughs> a Zoomer flight controller. Never seen this before, but wondering what it's for, I checked that it's DB9, though I noticed just now that it says it's for Amiga and Atari ST. Now in the front, there is a lovely TI-99. My first time seeing this one in the flesh. This will be interesting to restore and get going. You can see over on the passenger seat, the monitors and the other goodies. I'm quite excited about them. I'm wondering, you know, which ones are there? And finally, on the back seat, we see Amiga cover CDs, which I'll be getting my hands on, of course. <laughs> one of the monitors you know, has an Acorn logo on it, so I'm figuring it's for like an Acorn Archimedes or something like this. And also, um, the other one is a Philips monitor. Now, judging by this, it seems that they were Alan's discs and Alan's stuff, uh, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> so yeah, whoever you are, Alan, thanks <laughs> so much. So there was quite a few competition Pro joysticks, and this is the first time I've ever kind of like properly used and held a competition board joystick. Um, I, well, I haven't actually used it yet. I will be using it, see what it's like. Because, you know, I mean to, I really like the Zipstick joysticks. They look very similar. And uh, people just say, oh, Zipstick is crap. This is, you know, competition pros are better. And, you know, you have vice versa. I'm the vice versa. I prefer Zipsticks. But then again, I just say that unconditionally because I've never had had the chance to use a competition pro joystick properly. There is this thing here, which to be honest, I mean, looks interesting. Um, it doesn't. I mean, I'm not into flight simulator games or anything like this. Uh, so yeah, Wayne can have this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm deciding. No, I'm gonna I'll take my humble little share of all this. He said I can have the monitor, so. I will leave him with the Acorn monitor and I will go with the Philips one, you know, since I know he he is, he is likes Acorn, you know. Uh, and that's after he asked me to choose which one <laughs> I wanted, so yeah, I'll have to be Acorn one. Anyway, so it's kind of like, these suckers off. <laughs> and put this to the side. Uh, yeah, but I'm interested in this, but I, what I want to do is I want to try it out. I want to like 
play Lotus on it or something like this on a car racing game <laughs> and see, you know, how it is with one of them. Lords of Chaos. Never played it. Um, Acorn Soft, okay. For the BBC microcomputer. Elite for the BBC microcomputer. It's even got the top thing, you know, that you put in the thing. Um, Wayne doesn't have a. Oh, are you kidding? It doesn't have a cassette or anything? No! It must be somewhere around. Oh, that sucks. That would be really good. Well, it has everything else but the disc or the cassette or whatever it looks like it's in here. Ship identification. Cobra Asteroid Viper Sidewind. Uh, obviously, Wen does not have a BBC Micro. Um, I do. So I'll you know, put this aside for myself. Of course, I'm going to take Menace. <laughs> Humbly take Menace. <laughs> because I know it and I do like it. It's just memories. And of course, as you can see, we have the original disc there. And a virus warning. A virus. This product is guaranteed by Psygnosis Limited. To be virus free. Psygnosis so Limited, Psygnosis Limited will have any damage caused to this product through virus infection. Okay. Well, if you keep it right protected, then it should be fine. As I've always kept my discs right protected. Let's see what the rest of these are. Lords of Chaos, which is a Mika Game. I've never, yes, I've never played this. Looks interesting. But looks more like RPG kind of game. I think the brain would like that. D Day. Games Workshop for 40k Spectrum. Okay, interesting. Dark Empire. Spectrum again. So this dude had a Spectrum also. Uh, there are some C64 There was some C64 stuff here. Ooms. Are oh, you gonna mess? What do you call it? Let's have a look at this. I mean, it's not my kind of a game. I just want to look at the stuff because I just want to look at it. It's got a really nice blue that attracted me. <laughs> so that's what made me want to open it. It's just nice to see new discs and storm across Europe. There seems to be a bit of a theme going on here. War games. <laughs> it's really not my thing. Black Sea is this. It's a nice rock actually. I kind of like, I like this square graphics and stuff in it. But the way it's like, you know, like a graphics that I find too. I like that. I love the packaging that these games come in, even though it's not my kind of game at all. It's just nice to kind of like look at the artwork and packaging and things like this. But yeah, I'd never play this. Yeah, definitely Hollywood Poker. Definitely my, my kind of thing. Warhead. Hmm. Again, war themed. I think Alan likes his war games. <laughs> but what is this like? This kind of looks intriguing. You know, it's very, very war <laughs> Not my thing. Again, Wayne can do as he wishes with these. But I'll humbly take these. <laughs> There's lots of floppy disks around. Here and I think I'm going to. Ooh! Plenty and plenty of cover discs. Well, we just need to collect the cover discs, so yeah. I will collect with the cover discs <laughs> because he will not want them. And you know, I collect cover discs. And it's not like. It's a look. Roll playing game. Very nicely organized, I have to say, and neatly, neatly done. Has he done that thing where he's put the ruler underneath and wrote on top of the ruler? I think that's what I, I used to try and do that. Uh, it was it's like it kind of makes it look like a nice front. <laughs> I think I'll have fun looking through these, but I I've got so many discs as it is, and I will leave these again <laughs> with um, Wayne to do as he wishes. Maybe take out a couple of them or something like this. Nice clean like this. I might nick it. <laughs> Free AOL software, where you can have that. <laughs> More discs. 
three nice disc boxes. And again, I've got so many discs. Just like waiting to what he wants to release. Alright, so let's start having a look at these monitors. They look absolutely amazing. A bit of a clean here, but nonetheless. We have an Acorn one and a Philips one. So I'm going to look at the back of these actually. So let's have a look at the connections. See how they connect. So I'll turn them both around. So yeah, quite interesting. Both of them completely different companies. This is Acorn, this is Philips. And they all seem to have the same setup, even to the point where it's the same switch. And um, yeah, same set out of the, the dials at the back. The only thing that's different is that this one here does not, uh, the Acorn one does not have composite in, it only has audio in. One is um, DB9, one is DE9, you know, the connectors. But they both seem to be like the same standard RGB. So with this one, I remember seeing a, um, a connector for the Amiga for this. So. Actually, hold on. Okay, and after a rummage around my attic, came across this cable here, which I think that, I mean, I'm pretty sure that this is the Amiga Video Out, plus this. So then, obviously it goes in the Philips one, but I wonder if it is the same standard and it works with the Acorn, which would be interesting, an Amiga on, and working on an Acorn monitor. <laughs> So in the name of curiosity, I soldered a couple of DB9 connectors together, like this. It's connected up in here, and we now have a port, just like the Philips here. And I am curious now, so let's get the Amiga out and have a little bit of fun seeing if these work. So that is turned on and the moment of truth. Turn the Amiga on. And it seems to be working. <laughs> Fantastic. Doing it. 
actually had to decide which hand did I am. This thing with me at the dexter, you don't know which one's which. This kind of feels right, it's fine. It's happy. Just stick on a fire hand. I'm not gonna give myself RSI for this. I think that's better. on an acorn monitor which is kind of cool i mean it's probably something standard it's just a standard rgb connection but i mean using that you know that thing here and coupler that's the word forgot but anyway using that it's just connected to that so those of you who have got an acorn monitor don't need to get a separate one for your amiga just to switch between the two Speaking of gaming, you may remember my cousin Ayman from old Nostalgia Time retro gaming videos, which are linked in the description below, by the way, if you wish to watch. Ayman is currently setting up his own channel to do with modern gaming and things like Minecraft and other games too, so if you're into games, do check out his channel and hit that subscribe button. The link is in the description below. I just upgraded all my subs! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> you got the best subs, dude! Your subs are better than mine! <laughs> God damn it! I agree all my subs! I spent two points on those! Two rounds of points! Oh, sorry, you're the name and stop! <laughs> no! <laughs> my midfield!
Yeah. You're fun, you learn. <laughs> Go for free. <laughs> I guess I didn't. You get nice music, very dark on like. This level reminds me of Turkin 3 actually, somehow. Yay! Mega shower head. <laughs> that was the ship from our type, right? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Mega shower than that, so I'm not gonna risk my lives. Oh, I like this music. I like all the music, but the first one and this one are my favorites in this game. <laughs> Mega shower head! You stupid thing, I'm in the screen. Yeah. I haven't done that for many years. I don't want to do it too much because I know it's on the TV as well. It's a stupid connection which I need to sort out and try to eat. Ah! Stupid malnourished Sonic! <laughs> oh! Sink the stupid fire! Can you shower heads? Yay! Shower head! Steering wheel that you, you could buy 
for you. We can't come back then and give me the magazines. Checkpoint! How dare you not give me a checkpoint? Checkpoint! Checkpoint! Thank you! <laughs> Sorry, time! Seriously, if you have one of these things, try playing car racing games in the middle of this. Another good game to play on this would be Stun Car Racer. No! Checkpoint! Give me my checkpoint now! I demand it! Oh. It was just there! I think! <sighs> ah! <laughs> it hurts! <laughs> kind of like, you know... <laughs> it is a bit hard on you! <laughs> just a minute, but it's actually like... It's not bad! Yeah! It's pretty I just like... Can't go like this! I mean, the turning circle is not so great on like <laughs> freaking like your lotus, so it doesn't allow you. Should have like a steering wheel version of this. Should be kind of fun. No, I'm not even at a game. My hands are hurting. <laughs> anyway, you got to see this. Now as you can see on my workbench, I already have a place dedicated to this dude. And it's all quite exciting. Now every time I'm going to be doing an Amiga video of any sort, I can bring an Amiga over here onto my workbench and link it up to this monitor. Also, my apologies for the sound quality throughout some of this video. I tried a new microphone for convenience sake, which created a 50 Hz hum that I had to filter out. And in turn, it brought out a bad hiss. Unfortunately, I've shot a couple of videos with this, uh, but rest assured, I'll be reverting back to my better microphones. Many thanks to all my patrons for supporting my channel, especially to my supporters who deserve an extra special thank you. Electronscape, Rich Garbett, Axel Dominator, Starlight Minako, Kamaltek, Steven Leary, and Chris Sablinski. Do see the video descriptions below to check out my patrons' websites and YouTube channels. Thank you.